My name is Alone and welcome to another Zero to Hero episode. If you haven't seen any of the other episodes, you can click on the playlist link in the top of the description to start from episode 1 and catch up if you want to. So I'm going to actually start off this episode by doing just a few diaries, some easy ones that I can do, and maybe a medium one if I have the requirements for it, but I haven't done any of them, so I think it's about time. When I sell this uh, silk to the silk merchant, that will be the easy Ardoin Diaries completed, so let's get the rewards for that. And that is the Lumbridge easy completed. I think I can do the medium here as well, I'm not sure. Absolutely right, I could do that. I now have the medium and easy Lumbridge Diaries completed, and I still have the experience lamps in my inventory from other uh, diaries that I completed. So let's uh, claim the medium one right there. Nice Explorer's Ring too. Also the Varrock one completed. I don't want to get too much into diaries in this video because it's not the most enjoyable content, but I want to just do a few. So let's use these lamps that I have accumulated now. The medium one is going to give me 7.5k runecrafting experience, which is a lot of experience in runecrafting. It saves a lot of time. And the easy ones give 2.5k and I will just put all these lamps into runecrafting because I really despise that skill. It's such a slow skill. So 15k experience. So I did some more diaries. You can see here I'm close to being done with western provinces as well. But uh, I have some lamps here and I'm going to use them on runecrafting once again. 2.5k experience. 1k experience from that one, that was kind of weird why only that one gave 1k, 2.5k again. Me and a friend went to kill some Grador, but we got no drops, but I went from 5kc to 14kc. Doing good with keeping up with my farm run, so this is going to be 95 farming, which is pretty huge, because then I can, without using a garden pie, go into the mid-tier of the farming guild, so uh, I can consistently do Hispori now. I already have one planted, which we will check in just a sec. Here we go, first Hispori kill of the account. I think it's actually going to put me uh, above 65 farming as well. So I'm going to get 66 farming from this, I think. So let's uh, harvest it and see what I get as loot as well. And I have another seed as well to put in instantly after. So 12,000 farming experience, 66 farming, dragon fruit tree seed, atta seed, and let's just plant another one. 122 is pretty slow. I think this will be enough for the diaries for this video, so uh, I just completed a novice game of the pest control and that was also the last step for western provinces, I think, this one, so I just have to go and claim the reward now. And again, of course, I will put the experience lamp in runecrafting and we're going to have totally gained 23.5k runecrafting experience from all this. Of course, not the most amount as it's only the easy ones and one medium. But uh, if I look at these different ones, I actually need some quests for them usually, and that's why I skip them. If we go to Mauritania, I don't think I need anything for this one, so I can definitely do that one in the future. And for the Wilderness one, I think I can do that one as well, but for the other ones, I do need quests usually. So I don't actually have all the skills yet for the Song of the Elves quest. I still need uh, 70 Hunter, 70 Mining, and 70 Farming. But there are some quests that I need to do as well before I can actually start a quest regardless, which is the Roving Elves, Morning Sand Part 1 and 2. And then I have everything for the Song of the Elves. So I'm going to do Roving Elves now and maybe Morning Sand Part 1 and possibly 2 as well, we will have to see. I actually expected this quest to be way more annoying than it actually was. I, it was so long ago since I did this, but... Uh, I would have done this way earlier if I knew that it was this easy to get the uh, crystal shield. It's actually so good, but it's not imbued now, so I will have to do that in the future. But uh, I don't even know what this is. I guess that's the future quest, but that's the crystal shield, and it's very good for God Wars Dungeon, especially Kriara. I think it's better than the uh, Dragon Fire Shield, so I will have to imbue this in the future. Finally done with Morning's End Part 1, that's actually a lot of thieving experience, 25k and 2 quest points. I only need one more quest point to get that uh, other Slayer block on my list, which uh, I have been waiting for quite a while. I I mean, I don't know why I haven't even done this before to get the unlocks, but or the blocks I mean. But uh, I'm probably going to be done with questing for, uh, for right now, because I still need to get the skills anyways to be able to do uh, Song of the Elves. So as I want to get into raiding in the fairly near future at least, I do need a lot of money, because I still miss quite a lot of good items that I need to do raids efficiently. And therefore I'm going to go back to Slayer and try to get a Hydra task, and I don't actually have that many points right now, so I will probably have to take whatever I get. And uh, hopefully I can get some good loot from the Alchemical Hydra, obviously with the goal of getting the Lance drop. If I would get that, I would instantly have pretty much the best weapon for raids, one of the best ra uh, weapons for raids. And uh, let's see what the first task is. 
Necreos. I actually got a task of 154 Aviances, so I'm going to try Criora again, and if I get the Shane Skirt, I have completed the entire collection log, so that would be really, really cool. And this is going to be the last kill for uh, no item, unfortunately, from all these kills. And I did manage to do a total of 28 Kriaras in this task. I still have 19 kills, but uh, yeah, I don't want to run all the way back here and get more ecumenical keys. So I'm just going to kill uh, the normal ones for these last 19. But I ended on 180 KC, which is not bad. Almost at 200 now. Actually pretty early and I get a Berserker ring, it is not, well actually not the most valuable one, the Archer's ring is I think 5 mil, but I am not complaining about 3 mil. Of course there we have the, uh, as always, Warrior's ring worth 44k as well, feels bad. Actually another Berserker ring drop, that's 6 mil now from this one task, the DKs are so good money. Oh my god, just a few kills later, the Archer's ring, it's actually almost 5 mil right now, which is the most valuable drop. Just look at this inventory. If I get a series ring now, I have all the rings. Uh, yep. Um, uh, that was the kill after. I'm so happy with that, so I'm just gonna finish the last 50 kills on the normal ones. But look at this. Look at the value. 11.2 million only from the rings. That is so good profit. Actually, the first time I've ever got a Solra task, so I'm going to do 15 of them, and I think with the Slayer Helmet, getting a PB will be very easy. First kill is actually on the exact same second as my PB. Slayer Helmet is so good for this. This is such a fast kill. Let's see the time. 1.06. What? Okay, that is just crazy. The Slayer Helmet is so insanely good. Pretty good last drop here of uh, some Snapdragons, but from just 15 kills... Got a total of 1.9 mil, so Solra is, as always, of course, very good money. 189 Hydras. <laughs> I don't even know if I can do that many Hydra kills, but definitely very nice to see that huge of a task now that I've been hunting it for a while. Not that I need it, but the first drop, I guess, Alchemical Hydra Heads, and I have done roughly 50 kills, I think. Just actually finished kill number 400, and I have exactly 100 alchemical hydras left, so at the end of this task, I'm actually going to land on exactly 500 KC, which is very nice. I mean, it's a drop, but it's not the one I want. Hydra's tail is on 60k. Oh, come on, second pair of alchemical hydra heads. That is really not what I want. I need money at this time, not these useless heads. Yeah, okay, hydra, I get it. You really want to give me these heads. Uh, that is three in one single task. Okay, there we go. That's the entire task of 189 Hydras. Let's see what the last drop is. Pretty mediocre. Let's uh, have a look at the total loot that I got. Pretty nice to end on exactly 500 KC, so pretty much halfway to the last drop, but uh, 189 kills is still 22.5 mil with no good drop at all. The only rare drop that I got was the Hydra's tail and the three heads, which I can't really make use of any of them, unfortunately. As always, keeping up with my farming runs. Now, I don't actually have another Hispori to plant after this one, but uh, let's clear it. And I'm currently 67 uh, farming, so only three more levels to go. And uh, no bucket this time, but uh, more at the seed. I think I got the same last time. Okay, that is actually the perfect task. I really wanted to do some smoke devil boss, so I'm really happy. Actually, on the first task that I get back, I get the perfect boss. Okay, I wasn't ready for that. I haven't really been keeping track of it, but I just got 94 attack. So my current combat stats is actually I have almost 17 million uh, hit points experience, which is just insane. Feels like I hit 99 pretty recently, but 94 attack, 98 strength. So that is probably the next 99, 93 defense, 97 range, very close to 98, 95 magic. 81 prayer, which is the lowest one, but yeah, I'm getting really close to max combat. Ended on 637 KC, and uh, unfortunately no rares, but the total loot is worth 3.5 mil. So this will be the last skilling level for this video. I'm about to get 68 farming, so we're really getting close to that 70 milestone for the Song of the Elves quest. And the palm trees, I've already bought some seeds, I have them in the bank, is going to speed that up quite a bit. Because I've been doing all these tasks on Konar pretty much, except I think the last two, I'm going to open 20 brimstone keys now, and hopefully we can get something good. Oh, so I actually got a rare item for the collection log, the broken dragon has that with only three more keys to go. Oh, these dragon dart tips are so good. But I think I actually got really good money from that, so... 
if it's going to be average, it's going to be 2 mil. But I think with the magic seed drop and the dragon dart tips, it's going to be more than 2 mil. But let's see. 2.4 almost, or 2.3 I guess. Look at this. 333k from one key. But uh, the dragon has that is unfortunately only 36k. So money-wise it's not very good. But uh, it is a rare item and I am pretty sure it's on the collection log. I want to finish up the video by doing three Scotiza kills with the chance of getting the pet of course. It's always interesting to kill that boss as it has a 1 in 64 drop rate of a pet. And last time I think I did 20 in one video and uh, it pretty much took up most of the video. Which I don't want to do so I'm going to do Scotiza now and then when I do have a few totems. And I don't actually care that much about the hard clues so I'm not going to do them. Just to make it a bit easier but let's see what the loot is going to be from three Scotizo. So first kill is going to be... Rune plate legs and even more ancient charge. I actually have uh, 55 now of these, so I will have a lot of arc light charges whenever I want it. Second kill. Blood runes. Five ancient charge. <laughs> That's a lot. Animation is bugged, but it is dead, so last chance at pet here. Let's see what we get. Grimy tour stalls and more ancient charges. No pet this time, but my case is now 43. I have actually made some good progress on a lot of different bosses in this video. So I've actually went a bit higher on the Solra boss now and the Dagonoth Kings. I went from 5 to 14 Grador kills. I also gained even more Criara kills. I think I was 152 to now 180. And of course, on the second slide, I got even more thermonuclear smoke devil bosses done, which is now at 637, and the nice even 500 on the alchemical hydra. Also, of course, in the end, three Scotiza kills added to the counter. But for now, that's going to do it for this video. In the next one, I have as a goal to get at least the skills done. So I want to get 70 mining, I want to get 70 hunter, as well as 70 farming done. And then do Mornings End Part 2. And then we will have to see if I do Song of the Elves in the next video. Or if I do that in the second one after that. And uh, I also want to do, of course, as always, more bossing. But the main goal of this video was to get more money. And get some bosses done for the equipments that I need for raiding in the near future. I already have a partner that I want to do it with. But he is currently getting the gear and all that stuff as well. So uh, I'm kind of waiting for him. But I think we will be able to do our first raids in the very near future. Hopefully in maybe the... Not the next video, but probably the one after that. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. And if you did, please leave a like, and if you want to see more of my content, then remember to subscribe. Or click any video on the screen right now if you want to instantly see another video that I made. They're pretty good. So I'll see you in the next one, guys. Take care.